friend. Remember that. You're not my friend. Your dad's a pimp and, and he pimping you. Your dad a pimp and he pimping you. I'm going to beat 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 you. The super lightweight division has made for big nights in boxing in recent times. With plenty of back and forths on social media and a huge scuffle in person between the two after they ran into each other, the fun continues. Devin the Dream Haney will prepare for war against boxing star King Ryan Garcia for 12 rounds of violence. It seems like there's genuine bad blood between the two, which comes as a surprise to some as they shared the ring together in the amateurs six times. The score is 3-all, and they will look to settle it once and for all on April 20th for not just their pride, but to prove to each other who's the best, but also the WBC crown that will be on the line. It's fair to say that this Game 7 will be the most important out of all of them. Hello Fight Fans, and welcome back to another Squared Circle TV video. Without further ado, let's get into it. Devin Haney it was last year when Devin Haney decided to take the toughest challenge of his career. After numerous callouts over the years, he finally got his wish, as he would sign a fight to step into the squared circle with the legend that is Vasily Lomachenko. But as the saying goes, be careful what you wish for. After some fairly respectful press conferences, tension certainly boiled over at the final weigh-in face-off as Devin would shove Lomachenko with some force. It was clear to see that Devin meant business. Credit to Lomachenko for keeping his composure, which was probably down to the experience gained over the years of being in big fights previously. That experience would definitely show in the ring as he would push his young, hungry competitor all the way as the starting bell rang. Many people underestimated Loma due to the performance in his last bout, which was a huge mistake. The old lion would roar once more and take the fight to his young counterpart. In so many different ways, there's been such effective work by Haney, especially like that to the body. There's been so much effective work. It was a back and forth fight. Haney started off strong, boxing well, and showed us another tool in his locker as he sat down and ripped thudding hooks and uppercuts to Lomachenko's body. Not many expected him to be such a good body puncher, but as the fight went on, Loma closed the distance and began to go to work. Oh, up jab, south pole jab, and another one! Lomachenko so accurate right here in round number 11! Using his craftsmanship in the ring, he would come off on awkward angles and tag his opponent numerous times. Both fighters showed aggressiveness through the first half of the fight, Haney using his length and strength by working off his back foot, while Lomachenko continued to pepper the champion with a jackhammer left hand to the head. But as the fight wore on, it was the elder statesman pushing 24-year-old Haney, stunning him with combinations, including a powerful ninth round, when the champion started showing his fatigue. But to the dismay of the 14,436 fans in attendance, the judges gave Devin the nod. Seven months following his controversial win against Loma, Devin decided to move up to the 140-pound division to take on the rugged Regis Progre, who is a well-known puncher and a main name in the division of the WBC world title. Let's go. Exactly. Let's go. So you don't got no chin. How about that? I ain't got no chin? You just got dropped against a nigga nobody ever heard of. That's You're good. 34. I'm 24. And? I'm, I'm in, the, we in the same position, dickhead. Some said that Haney should take a tune-up so he's able to get acclimated to the weight. But Haney prides himself on chasing greatness. It was an opportunity he simply could not miss. The fight was a total mismatch. The Dream put on a Dream performance, not putting a foot wrong for basically the whole fight. Devin was a level above in all sectors and was even able to drop his opponent in the third, something he isn't known for doing. But at the new weight, he looked like a different beast. Bigger, stronger, overall just better. Progre couldn't avoid Haney's crisp right hand to the head that repeatedly landed and opened a small cut on his nose in the sixth round. And the new WBC Super Lightweight Champion of the World! Haney sailed to a unanimous decision win which opened doors for this mega fight against King Rai. Ryan Garcia 
King Ryan Garcia in the first quarter of 2023 found himself in the biggest fight of his life against a deadly operator in Gervonta Tank Davis. This would go on to be the biggest fight of the year in the year of only big fights, generating about 1.2 million pay-per-view buys in the US. There was a huge tension leading up to the bout, and even though Gervonta was the strong favorite in this fight, Ryan truly believed he could win. The fight started out cagey, as both fighters opted to have a look at each other. The fight quickly exploded in the second, as Ryan decided to step on the gas and take the fight to Davis. Ryan would throw three consecutive hooks which would be evaded by Tank by rolling them. This was a huge error for Ryan, as on the third one, Tank would have picked up the pattern and in fact, launched a counterhook of his own, dropping Ryan to the canvas. This would show the gulf in level between the two. As the fight unraveled, Tank would become more and more comfortable and finally get to Garcia in the seventh round, hurting him down with a vicious body shot. A shot that if you blink, you miss. Ryan couldn't recover, and just like that, the fight was over. He is the winner by way of knockout and still undefeated, Gervonta. After the disappointing performance against Tank, and also complaining about being weight drained, Ryan and his team would decide to move up to the 140-pound division. He was matched with a durable opponent in Oscar Duarte. The Mexican was certainly game and came to fight, putting Ryan on the back foot from the early rounds. It's not often you see Garcia take a backward step, as he's usually stalking his prey but it looked like he had been working on some new things with this new head trainer, Derek James. He also implemented a new defense strategy, which was the shoulder roll. It's fair to say it looked awkward and needs a bit more polishing, but it would get the job done in this scrap. Ryan heard boos in round eight and appeared to have the fight slipping away from him. That's when he unleashed his trademark left hook, which wobbled Duarte and eventually sent him to a knee. Duarte gathered his feet just as the referee's count reached 10, giving Garcia the knockout win with 9 seconds left in round 8. It was far from his best performance, but at least he was back to winning ways. As the fight night is on the horizon, the tension between the two camps and families continues to flare, and heated words are exchanged at every press conference and sit-down they do. It seems the fight will captivate the boxing world so much so that even a pound-for-pound -pound great Terence Crawford has chimed in on how he believes the fight will play out. He went on to say, I think it's a great fight. Both of them know each other very well. They've been in the ring a lot of times and both of them are young, hungry, and know what to do to beat the other, said Crawford during a recent press conference in Puerto Rico. But I give Devin the edge. He's more polished, well-rounded. Terence isn't alone as most fans and critics believe Ryan will become stuck once more against a skillful operator in Haney, but it would be foolish to completely count Ryan out. He's been on the big stage before when he fought Tank, and some say he could have learned from his mistakes, helping him get the job done now. Will Devin Haney slay the king, or will the king crush the dream that is Devin Haney? One thing's for sure, there will definitely be fireworks. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also turn on post notifications for more videos just like this one. See you all in the next one.